Hello everyone, welcome back. I have something special today. I present to you my latest build. I'm combining a couple of mods. I think the top three best ship mods that we have in the game, at least in my opinion. Number one, we have Matilija. Number two, we have Avontech because I just really like all that lighting that it has. And then finally, we have also a few Deretek parts. And I just wanted a ship to combine all of those. And I use kind of some of the parts that I like the most of each one of those mods and put it together in a ship. The entire design was born to fit this one specific part, which is this massive, huge cockpit that we have here. <laughs> uh, after the update from Matilija version 3, I just thought I have to make a design, I have to make a ship that is based on this one. And this is what came out. This is what I got going on here. We're gonna do a tour. We're gonna take a look at the exterior. I'm gonna tell you guys, you know, just a just an overview of the exterior. Then I'll take you guys inside to do a tour of the interior because it is mostly all decorated. So we're gonna take a look at that. No ladders whatsoever. We're all using either stairs or ramps for this entire ship. I did not get to add the elevators. That was a later update in version four from Atilija where he introduced elevators, it was fantastic. I have a separate video showcasing the elevators, but I didn't get to add it in this build because yeah, I kind of finished this build before that and I didn't want to make any exterior change because then I would lose some of the interior decoration in the ship. Uh, that is a glitch that Matilija still has. So if you decorate certain parts, like for example, these ones, the corner decks, the glass ones, as well as the observation bubble, the, the dome, everything inside all the decoration gets lost whenever you make a change to the ship, even though the change is unrelated to those specific parts. Uh, the decoration still goes away, uh, which is why I didn't want to make any any other changes. So let's just jump into the overview of the exterior. I really wanted to use this dome again. I used it on my previous build, but it didn't turn out so well. Uh, you can see it. I have a video on that already if you're interested in that build. But this time I wanted to make it work and I put it here at the center instead. And the whole thing being this kind of concave, is this concave shape? Yeah, um, it kind of made it work a little bit better because now you have the carpet at the top and you can kind of see an overview of the dome while you're in there. It's pretty, it's pretty sweet, the view. I'm gonna take you guys to see the interior view later on and I'll show you guys also how everything looks when you are in space from the inside. The views are honestly, I think, some of the best parts of this ship. The, the corner windows on the sides, and when you're inside, you can see the cockpit, you can see the other side, you can see the front, and it just looks pretty, pretty sweet. Uh, it is a large size, this ship. It is at 66 meters. It's not, it's not huge. It's not like an M class that big, but it's still definitely uh, way longer than the limit. And the same thing for the width is uh, 52 meters. I honestly, with this carpet, there was no way to make it any smaller. I think this is probably as proportional as it gets. Anything smaller would just kind of make the carpet look uh, a little bit too oversized you know and it might not look so great this whole uh, kind of concave shape was all possible thanks to the ramps that we have so i ended up using direct ramps instead of matilija matilija has ramps as well but i just like the gold accents that direct has on the outside so that's why i kept those ones instead and since i also have a few other direct parts some other goals here and there then I ended up kind of working now better using those ramps. So that is, yeah, this is how the view looks from the bottom. Uh, the look from the front is pretty aggressive, definitely pretty aggressive. We have big cannons. So we have, I think, three of those, two at the front, one at the back. We also have some lasers. Those are 
big lasers, four of them. And then there is this weapon here that was pretty, pretty amazing. So this is from Atelija. This is, I don't know, anti-capital ship. I, th I don't know if it's a laser or what, or a cannon. Uh, you can only have one. It has a max power of 12. <laughs> There's only one that you can have, so I have it here at the center. And the cool thing about this is it looks like this right now, but once you are inside the game, there is an extra barrel. It extends out. Uh, I'll show you guys later. I tried to, you know, come up with a design, something different than, than what I've been doing before. It ended up looking pretty nice. And you guys can read the stats at the bottom. But, you know, everything looks pretty maxed out. Mobility, top speed, range. We also have a lot of cargo. 13,130. And that is just a raw cargo without adding whatever your uh, payload skill rank is. Everything is mods, but some of the hubs, I ended up using just vanilla hubs from Strau because uh, I do like the interior of Strau quite a bit. We have um, we have engines at the back. I think, oh, those are, those are Tiger engines. I forgot. So we also have a few parts from Tiger. Uh, not a lot of parts, but few, a few important parts are from Tiger. So, for example, the engines are from Tiger. And I think I also have some, uh, what is it called, cargo uh, spaces, cargo holds that are from Tiger. And if I'm not mistaken, I also have a hub that is also from Tiger. I think this one, yeah, there's a Tiger hub here in the middle, which is a three by three by two. It's a two stories hub. It's pretty amazing, the interior of that hub. I really, I really like it. And uh, let's see, what else? So that is, yeah, that is actually pretty much it. All right, so I think it's now a good time for doing an interior tour of this. Maybe I show you guys a little bit how the outside looks. By the way, this ship makes my uh, PC uh, run a little bit slower. Like I do get a little bit of lag here and there. All right, so this is, this is I guess, one aggressive look into the front of the ship in, in the game. Maybe photo mode, I think we can fit a little bit more. So this is a, a quick view of uh, the ship in inside in game. And uh, it looks it looks pretty badass. So absolutely no ladders whatsoever, except for the for the docker. So let's go in. Alright, so we are in the first floor here. We come in from the outpost and I basically just turned this into a gallery. The entire first floor is basically two long ass galleries. So here's one, just decorations, nothing, nothing special, but a bunch of just, you know, uh, decorations and things like that. We go up later. This is one of the stairs and I also using Deratec for the stairs. I do like Deratec the, the stairs inside a little bit more. They look just a bit fancier. And here at the back, I have another kind of gallery, but for armors and weapons. And this is just for the docker. So you come in here, we have a nice view at the back. We have some portholes, a lot of windows in this ship again, and mostly just, you know, a gallery. And I just have some armors here. I have the Doom armor set. Uh, I don't like to use it, but I do like to use it as a as a mannequin. And uh, just the uh, Starborn armor. So that is it. That is it. The, the first floor is very simple. It's just that. Let's go up. And uh, nothing here. Just a window. Another window. And we're going to come in into our first uh come on uh, okay we're coming in from our first hub this is an empty hub a two by three or a three by two and it just became like a gaming room a hangout place i guess for for workout some some areas to sit and chill things like that you know some yoga mats and really simple just a hangout area some darts pretty pretty simple and uh, let's see, let's do the middle first and I show you guys, uh, then we go to the wings and then we go to the top. So let's see, uh, let's go. Yeah, let's keep going. And what I have here, this is one from Matilija. This hub, I think is an engineering bay, a three by three engineering bay. And honestly, I didn't decorate too much here. 
uh, other than putting some small monitors on the wall and and other things but i just thought you know let's use this i wish we had um do you guys know that mod uh, is called Trident Luxury where you actually have the rover inside as a display? I really wanted to use that mod, but I found out about that mod afterwards, after doing this build. And I wish somebody made a 3x3, three three, uh, have the rover in the middle and kind of like a big garage. Uh, I wish somebody did that and I would totally switch this out for that. But for now, you know, it is just an engineering room. So there you have it. And uh, I put some windows, of course, outside, and et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so we're gonna go to the top later. Let's work back and uh, let's go to another hub that I have. So you can go in from one side or the other side. So there's another ramp on the other side. And this, what we have right now is the tiger, two by three by two and i like it it's very nice i just decorated with a few small things you know chairs plants and maybe paintings around but you kind of have like everything you have this infirmary right with all, all the benches that you need and you also have areas sleeping areas i just put some carpets and uh kind of some sitting area just in the corners to to fill up the space a little bit more but mostly it is all the standard uh, hub and another window right in the center so yeah uh, i really like this hub like very very nice very unique and i put on one other window here so that you can see other areas below the cockpit that is below the cockpit and you can see this is one of those shield boosters i have another shield booster up there because i really like that lighting that the purple lighting so i put it there and then we can go up here and oh and by the way your crew member can use most of these hubs i think all of them even the ramps uh, i have yet to see a hub where i don't have a crew member using it so yeah this is the second floor more like a you know kitchen living quarters type of thing a combination yeah again you also have more uh, areas for, for sleeping for the crew members i put a lot more pork holes here as well that's there leads to the carpet we, we probably do the carpet now and uh yeah oh shit yeah look the companions they can sit they can eat fantastic and uh, so it's really nice I, I highly recommend this one i highly recommend tiger mod as well it's pretty pretty well done so yeah so you have a couple of stairs right you have one there one here and things like that so all right let me take you guys to the main event the carpet so we have this one and this is just the uh, stairs uh one by one by two uh, I only put a monitor and a few other things. That's it. So once I come in, I have uh, three one by one glasses, uh, glass hubs from Adelija. Just kind of like how it looks. Just two mannequins on each side and kind of another mini gallery on each side just with paintings. And that is it. And just all glass, all glass. And you can see the top. And I did the same on this side it's just all the same just some paintings and that's it so and we can go up and we can go up from either from this side or from the other side they will all take you to the carpet and uh, this is the inside of uh, Matilija ramp although this one is attached to the carpet you, you don't have to add this and there you have it this is the carpet look at this look at this I went crazy on the statues like two big ass statues i i i, I yeah i i know it's it's huge but but they fit i mean they fit so why not uh, i didn't do too many uh decorations here on the carpet mostly because i think you know it kind of has almost everything just a few signs here and there um i think the fire extinguisher is supposed to be there and uh, a couple of monitors and downstairs uh, just some more statues and a couple more monitors displays you know nothing nothing too much we have our own building bathrooms so i have some uh shelves with with 
towels and things like that. Same thing here. So not a lot of, uh, you know, major changes. I just don't, don't think that it needs more. I think the cockpit here by itself kind of looks pretty good. And so I left it like that. But yeah, this is, this is huge. And uh, the view, right, is pretty, pretty fantastic. I'll take you guys into uh, space later and uh, we do a quick view as well of the views. And you can see the corner halves in one side as well as the other side. And then likewise, when you go to the other uh, halves, you can see the interior of the cockpit here and you can see the two big ass statues. So yeah, pretty nice. And let's see what else. So here there is another pathway. I just kind of turned it into some sort of vault, cred tanks, empty cred tanks, and uh, you know lamps and and paintings and things like that. Uh, this is just a captain's quarters, just a default one. I, I didn't do anything. Uh, I forgot. I think I I wanted to do something else here. But I forgot and it was too late after I decorated the rest of the ship. So I just kind of left it. Maybe uh, maybe if I ever redo the ship, then, then I might change this. But for now, I'm just going to leave it so I don't lose the interior decoration in my other areas. All right, let's get back. I think, uh, where should we go now? Oh, we have another. Uh, let's go to the dome, right? Let's, yeah, let's go there. Let's go down and... Let's go back down from, I guess, from here. That's fine. Yeah, we can go down from here and we go to the middle and let's go up here and we go into the dome area. So this is the dome area and I turn it into a restaurant, I guess, 360 type of thingy. Um, yeah, I did the same decoration on my previous build and I really liked it. So I kind of did almost pretty much exactly the same. So plenty of uh, uh, cocktail bars and things like that. I tried to put the bigger uh, bar in here. I couldn't make it work. So, um, so yeah, I just left it like this. And a lot of seats. Uh, this is the, the probably the best table, the, the one right in the middle. And what else we have? So a bunch of, uh, you know, aquariums on, on each side and a free beer tub for everyone, of course. And let's go up to the dome. Some more statues and the dome here. I just have two telescopes here and a lamp right in the middle. So cannot walk around very easily, but, but yeah, but anyway, but they're there. So. So yeah, you just kind of have to go around the side, but you know, I have this lamp here and that. So yeah, this is kind of a nice view. And again, you can look up to your cockpit and see the massive statues. It looks really nice. I, it's, kind of, it's funny, but, but it looks nice. Um, and uh, of course, those uh, shield generators or shield boosters, they're there. So there you have it. And uh, let's see, so I'll take you guys to the wings. I think those are the only areas left and we can go up from here. So we can go up to one of the wings, I think in here. I think this is, oh yeah, this is just, I didn't put too much. Damn, she just, that was scary. Damn woman, walk around a little bit. Don't just stay there. Um, all right. So anyway, so I just put a bunch of um, only one birth, just link them together. Uh, honestly, because yeah, I just I thought that decorating the whole thing might be too much work, and all I did is just put some carpets around, and that was it. Um, I think sometimes NPCs they do get stuck in the in the ramp and they cannot walk further further out. Yeah. So I don't know what causes that. I've noticed that, can she walk further out? No, yeah, no, oh yeah, she can, yeah. So yeah, why Why don't she just, well, anyway. So that's that, uh, but let's go up. So that is basically for the, um, uh, for the crew, right? So all of that. And I have here just a sitting area also for the crew members and uh, couches, decoration and more free beer and wines and cocktails and things like that and check this out uh this is one of those uh 
this is at the very front it's not a corner one i forgot the name of this hub but this comes already decorated the interior this is from matilija and uh, all this okay. is kind of already uh there is no empty version that's what i'm trying to say uh so so yeah you have two pool tables a bar it looks fantastic i think it's great this is this is the one for the for the crew members i have another one on the other side that is just kind of like the captain's quarters so yeah and uh yeah so that is that is this area this, that is this wing and we can now go back and we can go to the other wing and uh, I also like to put uh, plants uh, where the doors are because otherwise I don't know where the door is. And we're going to go in and we're going to go now to the other side. So it's just the only connection is a one by one uh, companion way, just a connection. And here is where I fucked up. Uh, this is supposed to be an empty hub. Uh, but I made a mistake. I, I kept it an engineering room and I realized that too late, like after finishing the interior decoration, uh, like some of the, you know, the halves on the on the outside, I realized that there was uh, this in here um, and I didn't want to change it. So I left it. But but that was that was a mistake. And OK, anyway, so there is this conference room. I did a conference room here. So pretty nice, I guess. Uh, so this kind of leads to. Oh, this leads back to to here. Just just in case you guys are trying to figure out how everything goes, that leads there to the Tiger Hub, and we have a conference room. Uh, pretty nice, pretty clean, very simplistic, minimalistic. And we also have just a desk with some computers, some controls, and just sitting areas and all of that stuff. So this is the engineering room that I fucked up. That it was supposed to be empty. Uh, it's okay. Uh, let's move forward and what I have here this is now a captain's quarters I have the one you know behind the cockpit that was a standard one but I made one like a like a nicer one just uh, for captain's quarters and we have a desk we have you know our own bar with the wine glasses everything we have a bed and we have proper uh, nice stands right and one of them we also have of course the tissue paper for when things get nasty and uh yeah yeah we also have of course the another crack tank for the captain and we got the andrea's commitment and as well as sarah's commitment yeah we got them both we got them both okay and then here again my own i guess bar thingy place you know just for the captain it is exactly well damn he just showed up uh it is exactly as the other side but uh but yeah so on this side for the captain all right so andrea man, man npcs are just no popping up uh inside. randomly okay so let's go oh i have uh two more wings that i need to take you guys so we're gonna go to the end uh let me walk just slower so that you guys can maybe have a better look at the hubs and uh, anyway so that's that's that and let's go back up to the other one so we have to go to another level oh are we on the second level already yeah okay oh here so here is one this top wing here i just made it a uh, control station two by two i uh, didn't change anything just the default one we have a one by one companion way that kind of leads connects to uh, to this uh, corner window and I just turn it into a hangout area a sitting area decorations and things like that nothing too much honestly I couldn't come up with a better idea uh, here so I just made a very uh, more simple just interior design it's just a hangout area and like I was saying before you can see the cockpit right and you can see the statues everything you can see your massive cannons at the top uh, so yeah it's a good view really the view is probably i think my favorite part of this uh, build and uh, yeah so we have one more on the other side that area uh, so let me take you guys there and i think that's the that's probably the final hub and after that i just uh, gonna take you guys real quick to see how everything looks the view when you are in space yeah 
Uh, let's see. And what I have here is, are they are they stuck? Uh, what I have here is just the living quarters, a two by two for Stroud. Um, didn't do any any major changes at all. Actually, no changes at all. And same thing like the other side. This is now a hangout area for the the crew members. And um, you know some some yeah uh, small bars, some statue, and uh, yeah there we have it. So very much the same as on the other side. And again, same view. Exactly, uh, the ship is exactly symmetric. So one side and the other. And uh, yeah, some decorations. And yeah, there you have it. So that's pretty much the interior tour. Let me. Let me put this ship into space now and we do another just a quick tour of everything. All right, so we are now in space. Uh, we are in Jemison and I want to show you guys how everything kind of looks when you're in space. I gotta, I gotta be honest, the blue light from the Avon Tech parts, man, they look fantastic. I really like how they look. And let's see, let me go down. And uh, yeah, uh, so that's how it looks. You can see your corner hubs in one place as well as the other place. And let me see, let's go down here. Right, it's pretty nice view in space. Uh, probably, I would say that probably the corner hubs may have a better, better look. And by the way, the engines are off. So let's go down. So this area, probably nothing much. Yeah, there's nothing much here. The view here is not mm, nothing, nothing fancy. So let's go to one of those top corner ones. How are you? And let's see how it looks. Uh, this is my first time actually also uh, looking uh, checking the view from space. I actually have not done that while I was doing the interior decoration. But yeah, this is nice. Uh, let me see. Can can I see a better view of the cockpit? I cannot get a. There's too much glare uh, on the glass here for the for the cockpit view. But yeah, that's that's that. Let me see. Uh, Sure, I might as well go to the other side as well. Might as well just show you guys the whole thing again. Let me see, maybe less glare here. A little bit less. Oh yeah, a little bit less glare here on this side. And uh, yeah, you can see. What's the green light coming from? Okay, I don't know. But yeah, you can see the carpet. And you can see the front of your ship and let's go to the dome I think the dome is probably uh, where everything kind of looks really really nice let's go down let's go down from here and we do not have to go up up and we have the dome so the first floor doesn't look too great because we have a lot of parts that cover that are at the same level. But let's take a look if we go up to the dome. Oh yeah, that's the cockpit. Oh yeah, look, and you can see Sarah, you can see your NPCs. Oh, that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool, right? It's a good view. And yeah, it's a pretty nice view. So there you have it. So that's how it looks. Let me go to the front of those two wings where the bar is and I see how the view is from there. But yeah, there you go. This is how it looks in space. And yep. And there's Sarah. So let's go. And I think, yeah, I can go from here. And we're going to the bar. 
and this is the front and there you see yeah oh, there you go there you see the weapon in the middle so the, it has a barrel that extends out when when you're in game that's pretty cool and yep there you have it oh yeah and another cannon right above us so there it is and yeah that is the view so yeah yeah there you have it there you have it all right just uh, i guess really quick since we're already doing uh the entire view i'll take you guys back to the other side um to the captain's quarters to this side as well i mean it's exactly the same as you know the other side but anyway just just for you guys to to look at to have a good view of that everything all right now allow me to apologize i normally do these videos and i give you guys a step-by-step -step build so that if you want you can follow copy the design or you know do something similar with this ship i tried to do it but i'll be honest i just couldn't take it apart and then put it back together cohesively in a way so that you guys can understand it. this build it just got too complicated there were too many parts involved and then there's the reason that i don't know how practical this ship is because of the size being 66 meters times 53 there's an issue when you put this ship on third person view and that is the camera does not zoom out all the way properly so you have the ship kind of just in front of you a uh, huge covering the entire screen and the only way is to go on first person view so some people may like first person others may not and you want a third person view on this ship is something that unfortunately at least right now with this game you do not get so yeah so i'm sorry i know that if you are disappointed my bad my apologies what i'm gonna try to do is i might try to make a smaller version of this ship i actually want to do that for myself too because of the whole gameplay the third person view thing i'm gonna probably try to do something smaller uh still kind of maintaining the overall similar design to that and uh, once i do that build then it will be a regular video just like the ones i did before when I show the ship and I give you guys a step-by-step -step build. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know. I mean, if I get a ton of requests uh, for a step-by-step -step for this video, then I'm going to do my best. I'm going to maybe give it another go. And I see if I can just disassemble it in different sections and still make it a, a cohesive step-by-step uh, -step guide. All right, that's all I wanted to say. I tried to do it and I had to do this recording again and shuffling to the video because yeah, I tried, I failed. So, all right. Anyway, if you still enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, help me support my channel so I can make more videos, better videos. Other than that, thank you all for watching. Enjoy the game, have fun, and I'll see you all in the next video.